Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. Today is another indoor video. I am reporting the newest member of my household. It is this gorgeous little alocasia black velvet. I only went out to buy some bread. Anyway, so I'm going to be reporting the alocasia black velvet. I'm going to show you how I do it and then we're going to look at some care tips. Alocasia black velvet is a rhizomatous perennial. It's in the family Eraceae and it's native to Southeast Asia's tropical rainforests. The black velvet has a compact growth habit, so it's not going to grow much taller than 30 to 40 centimeters. It has these really dark, dramatic leaves. They've evolved in the shady understory of the rainforest. The dark coloration of the leaves allow the, the plant to absorb as much light as possible. And then they have these gorgeous silver veins running through the leaf and it's just really dramatic and exotic look. So let's get repotting. So let's pop the baby out of its pot and take a look at the roots. Uh, when I'm repotting, I normally loosen the roots a little bit before I put the plant in its new pot, but because this black velvet is a little baby still, the roots are not too root bound and black velvets actually like to be very snug in their pots. The, the roots like to be quite tight. So I'm just gonna leave the roots as they are. I'm gonna go one size up with the pot. So this is normally around two inches on either side. The pot I'm using today is actually a little bit smaller, but it's the only free pot I have at the moment. I'm using this terracotta pot with a drainage hole. It's really important to get the drainage right for the black velvets. So this pot is a good fit. Now I am going to start by filling a layer of coarse free draining compost on the bottom of the pot. I'm using a good quality houseplant potting mix and I've also mixed in my own orchid bark just for some extra drainage. I'm just checking if the plant is sitting at the right height. Once I'm happy where the plant is, I'm just going to hold it in place as I backfill with the rest of the potting mix, firming down very gently as I go, making sure that I get rid of any air pockets. So that's looking gorgeous. Now I am finished, I'm gonna water this wee baby in. Um, I always give my plants a huge drink when I repot them. I want all the potting mix to be moist and I want the water running out of the bottom of the pot. And she's done. So now let's look at some care tips. When we're watering our black velvets, do it sparingly. Only water once the first inch or two of the soil is dry. Anything more than that is going to encourage root rot. So if in doubt, water a little bit less. Let's find a spot for her. So alocasia black velvets receive dapple sunlight in their native environments. They are under the canopy. So they like a medium to bright indirect light and a high humidity. So something like a steamy bathroom or a warm kitchen. Near a window is great. East or northeast facing window is ideal. If you're placing your black velvet somewhere that's not so humid in your home, I would really think about misting regularly. So with a water spray, you can also put it on a pebble tray and maybe even think about investing in a humidifier if you have lots of plants that also need high humidity. Temperatures. Ideal temperatures for our black velvets are between 15 to 27 degrees Celsius. The warmer it is and the more light they have, the faster they're going to grow. In terms of feeding or fertilizing, alocasia black velvets are not heavy feeders. You can fertilize them maybe once a month during the growing season, but do it sparingly. Use an indoor houseplant fertilizer at about half strength. And as always, when you're applying a fertilizer, do it to moist soil. This is going to avoid root burn. And lastly, pruning. Pruning is minimal. Just remove any yellow or dead leaves that you see. Just snip them off with a pair of sterilized secateurs. So that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any alocasias in your home? I would love to know if you do. If you enjoyed the video and you would like to support the channel, subscribe. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Send you all my good wishes and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.